my favorite death. Um, was the, the pipe? Is that one? No, oh. Matt, out of the green back as an angel? I got a pipe to the back. Pipe through the back. Yeah. Pipe through the back. That was pretty brutal. It's kind of fun. <laughs> uh, mine would have been do these tacos taste funny to you? <laughs> Thank you. Hi. Hi. Uh, I was just wondering if the horseman uh, Fanny was there, what do you think your hunger would be? If, if the horseman Fanny was there. Fanny was there. What would my hunger be? What would, yeah. the, what would Sam your hunger, would hunger? Be, No, your. Oh, to me personally? Well, both of you. Uh, uh, currently? Probably those little sour things that you eat and they're tasty and. <laughs> Chicken wings? Chicken wings. That's right. Chicken wings. Tacos. Thank God. Um, yeah. Now, I think his, his hunger would be love. Aww. That's cute. That's cute. That's cute. What about you? What about you? Uh, Mexican food. Q food. Yeah. Going out of Texas, bueno. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Hi guys. Um, Jensen, I just want to say congratulations on your honorhood. <laughs> um, my question is, now that you have a newborn, is there any advice that you've gotten from Jared? And what the best piece of advice you've given? <laughs> Yeah, his, his biggest piece of advice was the PPTP. <laughs> and I looked at him and I said, not applicable. <laughs> Sounds interesting. What does that involve? Uh, what does that involve? <laughs> well, when you have a little boy, uh, he has a pee. <laughs> and sometimes when the diaper comes off, <laughs> he uses pee pee's. <laughs> So if you use the TP on the PP, on the PP, <laughs> no more PP in the face. Uh, I'm by discovering that they were men of letters and the whole Henry Winchester thing and kind of making themselves a home in the bunker because they've always been in hotels or in the car and finally like Dean's has up this little room and whatever. I think Sam, as far as the men of letters is concerned, I think Sam was more excited to find he was part of something. He always, I think Sam's always kind of felt like he had a more scholarly uh, purpose in life. Uh, so I know he was really excited. However, Sam, I think, chose to, or is choosing to use the Men of Letters bunker as a place of work, as the Men of Letters originally used it, because the Men of Letters didn't originally just live in the bunker. They had families and, and jobs, and they would go to the Men of Letters bunker when there was business to be done, you know? Sort of like Harbell's Roadhouse, but um, one that didn't burn down. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, just saying. Uh, so he, he used it more as a place of business. And I think, I think you said it right, I think you know, Dean used this as, as his home, you know, one that he's, he's never really felt uh, since he was six years old. So now that he has a place that he can call his own and a, a, a place that he can, a, a, film, a familiar place that he can lay his head and, you know, like his, hang up his, his, you know, his guns and, and put a picture up, but um, I think it's really given him a nice sense of, uh, you know, security that he's never really felt. So it's, uh, I think it's great. I, 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 I really personally, I like the whole Men of Letters uh, situation with the storyline of what it, what it offers both characters. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Hi. Hi. Um, my question was, um, 